When an Indian woman was admitted into hospital with strange and acute abdominal pains, doctors were baffled. They rushed her for an emergency scan and what they saw on the results shocked them. 3.3 pounds of metal objects. But the reason behind the results was even more shocking. Sangeeta was found aimlessly wandering in the streets of Shaher Koda area in India. She seemed confused and lost and people worried about her. After all, it's only natural that you would feel concerned and sorry for a woman that was so old and confused. She could be lost. She could be suffering from some kind of illness. No one really knew. Luckily for Sangeeta though, some passerby stopped and asked her if she was okay. Sangeeta did not respond. It was as if she were in a daze and acted as if the concerned people weren't even there. Instead of abandoning her and leaving her alone to potentially wander off into trouble, the kind strangers decided that the best course of action would be to take her to the local hospital. They would be able to take care of her as well as check if she had any injuries. And with a little luck, they'd be able to identify her too. We just saw this poor old lady wandering slowly and aimlessly down the alley, said one of the kind strangers. It's not nice to see someone so confused wandering around and I couldn't stop thinking, what if it were my grandma? I'd have wanted someone to help her. That's why I couldn't just ignore Sangeeta when I noticed her. Thankfully, Sangeeta didn't protest when the strangers took her gently by the arm and led her to a car. She sat silently in the back seat, still not acknowledging the people who had just rescued her. They soon arrived at the hospital and the people took Sangeeta inside explaining the situation to the receptionist and then to a concerned doctor. The doctor admitted Sangeeta and thanked the strangers for their kind act. He then found a bed for the confused old woman and laid her down. He tried to question her, but she was still not responsive. She just stared off into distance, not acknowledging any of the doctor's questions. It certainly was a strange and concerning case. But what the doctor did notice was that her stomach seemed distended and enlarged, and when he pressed on it, it felt hard. He was worried and ordered an emergency scan to try and find out the issue. It's unusual for a stomach to be so distended and firm to the touch, said one of the doctors. You can put it down to several things, but they were quickly ruled out. The patient wasn't pregnant, she had no gaseous buildup, and it wasn't a solid natural mass such as a tumor or hernia. So we were quite frankly left scratching our heads. The doctors continued with their physical examination. All the while, Sangeeta lay there and did nothing. It was as if she were in a trance. Her breathing was shallow and raspy, and every so often she would wince, as if in pain. But other than that, she showed no signs of being aware of what's going on. Doctors not only worried for her physical health, but also her mental health. The results of the scan quickly came back, and much to the doctor's shock, Sangeeta's stomach was filled with all kinds of metal objects. From pins and hair grippers to rings and copper strings, the doctors couldn't believe what they were seeing. Why was this old woman's stomach full of metal objects? As well as being baffled by the discovery, doctors were also concerned as some of the pins had pierced her stomach and even blocked one of her lungs. If it was not fixed quickly, Sangeeta would surely die a slow and painful death. The woman's stomach had become rock hard said the doctor who would soon be operating on Sangeeta. The x-ray revealed a large lump in her stomach with safety pins protruding from her lungs. One pin had even punctured her stomach wall, prompting us to immediately operate upon her. They ran blood tests too and found that there were increased amounts of iron and other substances in her bloodstream. Perhaps this was caused by the ingestion of the large amounts of metal too. All in all, it seemed like Sangeeta was in a bad state both physically and mentally. Nurses sat with her and tried to talk to her, but not once did the poor woman utter a word or even react to the nurses who were gently speaking to her and stroking her cold, thin hands. We had never seen anything like it, said one of the doctors who had been treating Sangeeta. Over the course of my long working life, I have seen patients coming through those walls with all manner of illnesses and afflictions, but every once in a while, something will shock me. It doesn't happen very often. But when I stood there looking at the metal that had built up in the patient's stomach, I will admit, I was shaken. All the while, authorities tried to track down who this woman was and where she was from. They searched for many hours and tracked down names and addresses associated with her medical records, but still, no one came forward to claim that they knew who Sangeeta was. After a while, 
a psychiatric social worker at the government hospital for mental health, made a breakthrough. However, the news weren't positive. She said that Sangira's brother in Shirdi has been informed. However, her family is hesitating to take her in, as she's already fled her home three times, said the social worker. Doctors needed to put together a plan as to how they could help Sangeeta. They needed to remove the metal from her body as it could cause further damage. The body cannot digest things such as metal. While these objects will sometimes harmlessly pass through the body and be expelled when you go to the toilet, sometimes they can get snagged and form a blockage. This metallic buildup can get worse and worse until it affects your body in serious and painful ways. That's why it was so important that every last piece of metal was removed. Doctors and surgeons put their heads together and formed a plan. They weren't sure if it'd work, but they had to try for the patient's sake. But one thing that the medical professionals were sure of was that Sangeeta was suffering from a rare and strange mental disorder. One that no one had seen before, but it still left their blood running cold when they finally realized the issue. In the meantime, Sangeeta was rushed to the operating theater for emergency surgery, where doctors worked over four hours to clear any foreign objects from her body. They also patched up any internal wounds that had been caused by her strange compulsion to eat such a large amount of indigestible objects. After the surgery, doctors kept a close eye on Sangeeta. They believed that she had consumed the metal objects over a long period of time, which is what caused them to gradually build up and for her stomach to become enlarged and hardened. It also turned out that the large amounts of metal in her system had been affecting her bloodstream, and as a result, her brain had been affected as well. This explained Sangira's confusion and dissociated state when she was found. Luckily though, with the metal completely removed from her system, Sangira made a full physical recovery. But why had she ingested all those objects? Doctors believe that the woman suffered from a condition known as acuphasia. Acuphasia is a mental disorder that compels people who suffer from it to consume sharp metallic objects and other non-digestible objects. Of course, some of these objects may cause complications such as intestinal obstruction, as it had with Sangeeta. Funnily enough though, the diagnosis could be missed if someone does not actually witness the patient consuming these objects. While she was medically well, doctors and psychiatrists still spend a lot of time working on Sangeeta's mental health, helping her move past this life-threatening condition. She certainly had a long road ahead of her, but with the right support and guidance, Sangeeta would be okay. What did you think of this incredible and strange story? Have you ever heard of something so unusual ever happening? Have you ever heard of someone suffering from acuphasia? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.